a finalist on The Voice, a former Mouseketeer, and he's your neighbor. Tony Luca returned back to his hometown of Waterford this year to escape the hustle and bustle of Los Angeles and get back to his roots. We were like, you know what, let's, let's get out of Dodge. Let's, let's take a year off or so. Um, let's get back to Michigan where you know, the, the grandparents, the uncles and aunts and cousins and a huge support system for the kids. Tony grew up in Waterford as a normal kid, but with an incredible talent. He became interested in music at a young age and soon discovered that he may have a future in the business. I remember one of my first earliest, earliest impressions was, uh, was Kiss. It just flipped me out that that, that was possible. And I, man, that was rock stardom. That was as big and interesting as, as you could get. And I remember thinking that that's, I wanted to do something like that. Not too much later, Luca landed a spot on the hit TV show Mickey Mouse Club where he got to display his talents to the whole nation alongside popular artists such as Christina Aguilera and Justin Timberlake. Life exploded for me at that point. I went from a small town, you know, um, fairly conservative upbringing to, whoa, you know, the, the, the endless horizons, and it was really cool. After Mickey Mouse Club, Tony and his fellow cast members went their separate ways, and each of them pursued their dreams differently. I had spent plenty of time in this whole, you know, uh, corporate entertainment machinery thing, and I wanted to go the other way completely, and and so I did, and and I don't regret that. And, but I did, I, I knew at the time that I was clearly taking the path less traveled. And then, just last year, Tony's life changed, taking him and his music to the next level. Tony auditioned for NBC's show The Voice and it was an instant hit. For him, it was a way to give back to all of his supportive fans. For me on The Voice, it was it was like an effort to prove my fans right. You know, like it was a celebration for my friends and family and fans that had for so long been, you know, championing my cause and rooting for me and buying records and coming to shows and buying tickets and t-shirts and God knows whatever else I put out just to say that they, you know, that they were feeling what I was doing all those years. And, and here was this opportunity for me to, to show the world what they had been supporting all this time. I get so lost sometimes. And then, midway through the show, came one phrase that changed the course of Tony's performances in his musical career. I just find you to be very one-dimensional. I'll always look back on that as being like, okay, yeah. I'll never come across as one dimensional yeah. again. Still and from there, he and his coach Adam Levine aim to be as far from one dimensional as possible. Unfortunately, despite reinventing himself on live television, Tony came in third place behind fellow contestants Juliet Sims and Jermaine Here Paul. The finalist in third place is Tony Luca. Although Tony didn't win, he has big plans for the future and hopes to continue making more aggressive music such as the songs he performed on The Voice. Now, through my newfound exposure and, and my, my ties to Adam, you know, I mean, it sounds cliche, but the sky kind of is the limit now, and that's that's the stage of the game we're kind of at now. And and for me, that's that that takes a lot to get my head around. Now, if you're hoping to catch Tony live locally, you're gonna have to wait a little while. But he assures us that there are plans in the works for a big local show. I've got some friends in town that work for Live Nation, who is you know one of the largest, probably the largest concert promoter. Um, and network of venues in in uh, in America. Yeah, they, they used to be Clear Channel, now they're Live Nation, and, and um, they they kind of want to maybe help us with a like a homecoming thank you show. Oh, that'd be awesome here in town somewhere, and um, you know, definitely all about that. Aside from showing his gratitude through a possible local show, Tony wishes to extend his thanks to all of his local supporters and fans. 
I just want to like wrap everybody up in a big old bear hug and say thank you. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's really nothing. It's to the point where it's like I, I, I'm a man of words. You know, at least I like to think I am, and I, I try to find every which way to say the same thing over and over again. But but you think after a while, thank you just doesn't cut it. <laughs> you know, like you really want to express. I know I'm grateful, but no, I'm really it's a little more than that. Um, especially because of the results. You know, I mean, it really helped push me through. You know, it's one thing to know you've got the love and support of your family, but but this was an actual campaign. This was yeah. getting votes to get pushed through to uh, um, the next stage of the game, and I and I made it all the way to the final. Reporting for WK today. This is Christian Kettenbeil. Calling out for you. I can love nobody but you No one makes my sunshine the way you do And after all the pain that I've put you through I know it's too late for what we once knew So I guess I'll wait Cause I can't love nobody but you 